Weather coverage you can count on with Alabama's Weather Anchor of the Year, Way 31's Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna. Temperatures warm again on this Friday afternoon. Really lovely views all across North Alabama on the Way 31 Thompson Roofing and Construction Skycam Network. A great day to be at the lake. 79 degrees in Gunnersville, 85 in Muscle Shoals, 83 in Huntsville. 83 in Decatur. No signs of rain within North Alabama right now, but look at the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. There is a severe thunderstorm warning out in West Tennessee, and as we take you on the wider view here, I'll be watching these storms throughout the evening because I told you earlier, it is going to be a few hours before these are really kind of threatening our western counties, but they slowly and surely have this kind of southeastward bend to their motion, and regardless, as these storms start to collapse, they may kick up some new storms right along the Mississippi Alabama line, so I'll keep watching those for you as we go throughout the evening. For the time being, though, that is a quiet picture, at least just within our area. As we look at the next hour or two, we expect it to at least stay that way. If you're by the grill this evening, and I hope that you are, it's a great evening to be outdoors. 79 degrees by 7 o'clock by 8. We are cooling into the mid-70s. Just good weather for sitting on the porch, soaking it all in before that real humidity of the summertime sets in here for us. Now watch as we go through the rest of this evening into tomorrow morning. This data source doesn't really key in on that activity that I was talking to you about, but it does pick up on a stray shower or storm elsewhere. I think that we will see both the spotty storm chance and then those storms in Mississippi kind of creeping towards the shoals. Your timestamp here is 8 o'clock as we go through the rest of tonight into your Saturday morning. Here's 6 a.m. There's a little bit of activity off towards the north up into middle Tennessee. And then as we go through the day tomorrow, although isolated showers and storms are possible earlier in the morning and otherwise partly to mostly cloudy sky, it's the afternoon and evening hours where we start to see these storms get going, of course, with the daytime heating. Through the evening into the overnight time period, notice the storms flaring up here, almost a little line developing by 9 o'clock, and then we just take those storms, and they start to kind of pull towards the southeast, but not really. Here's midnight, still seeing scattered showers and storms through the area before they finally fizzle early Sunday morning. We're not done with that storm chance on Sunday either, but through the day tomorrow, temperatures warming back into the mid-80s. An isolated shower and storm chance initially at 20%. It increases to 30 to 40% once we get into the afternoon with the peak of daytime heating. Now we're going to fast forward again to Sunday at 7 a.m. And the key here, and then especially this time of year, we get these clusters of storms rolling through, and the data sources have a really hard time keying on exactly where those storms are going to be heading. And what we see Sunday night into Monday morning, you'll see that little kind of cluster of rain there off to the northwest, is that it's a possibility that those stronger storms move into North Alabama ahead of a cold front. So with that in mind, we do expect the strongest activity to be just to the northwest, but Sunday night into very early Monday, there is a chance for a stronger storm in our area with some gusty wind, especially especially the main threat with that. Here's your seven day forecast. Still a 20% chance for a storm on Monday. Temperatures temporarily lower, hard to call 84 degrees cooler. And then we are in the lower 90s. The heat is on through the second half of next week.